Okay, all right, here we go. All right, welcome, uh, Kumbua. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, we're going to start with our first benchmark ever, right? It's going to be your IELTS prompt here. Moving on to food, let's talk about food. What kind of food do you like? Mm, Thai food and oh, Japan, Japanese food. Japan Good. food. Good. What are typical foods in your country? What are typical foods in your country? Mm, what typical food? Typical is kind of like Bokadi. Uh, or Tamada. Ahan Tamada. Ahan Tamada. Kapau. Right? Okay, right. Nice. Uh, some beef and like come and guy and tell me uh -huh. high words. Okay, no problem. Pass. In your opinion, is cooking a man or a woman's job? <laughs> mm. No. I don't understand this question. Is cooking a man or a woman's job? Man. Yes, yes, yes. This one here is asking like, in a house, like who should normally cook? Who should cook, right? Man or a woman? And I this think is, can be a both. Can be both, teamwork. Okay, I like that answer. <laughs> that's okay, all right, that's good. Okay, uh, how do you like foreign food? How do yeah. you like food? Uh, yes, I like. How do you like or food? I like Japan food, Japanese food. I like Japanese food. Okay, all right, good. Okay, no problem. Okay, next. This one is like a small speech, right? I only need about 60 seconds, okay? So mm -hmm. I'll, give you, I'll give you about like maybe one minute to think about it, maybe less actually, okay? I'll help you by brainstorming. Describe a well-paid job you would like to do or you will be good at in the future. You should say, mm. you should say what the job is, what qualifications are required for this job. Oh, this is a good prompt, right? How this job is different than other jobs and explain why you would like to be good at this job. Okay, so would you like an example? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, I will think about it for a second. Okay, uh, I believe that it would be really interesting to be a fun for some day. Right, and so I think that if I could control a very large amount of money and, and invest it in lots of different companies throughout the world, that would be very interesting for me because I like how big and detailed, elaborate systems work together, right? For the qualifications for this job, I think that I would have to have a lot of experience, actually. I think there's not too many, actually, qualifications needed for a fund manager. I think maybe there are some tests and certifications, but I would have to check and see. Uh, the job is different than other jobs because it is something that involves having to connect a lot of different ideas throughout the world to make good decisions on investments. So I, would be your, I, I think I already explained why I would be good at this job. Okay, that was an example. You don't have to do that kind of detail. All right? Okay. Okay. If I uh, explain about the job that I interest, but I don't want to be. <laughs> okay. Way. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. 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 Okay. All right. You may begin. Okay. I interest in uh delivery food job because I think in the future it's uh more requirement a uh, more request from people in Thai. And I think it will go up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, if now now is more channel for order in the food delivery, uh -huh. but I think in Thai is famous. Uh, famous channel is a food panda, line man, grab. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in future is more than this. Uh, how did and why would you be good at this job? 
Uh, pardon? And why would you be good? <laughs> I think uh, I can do it part time. Okay, okay, all right. Topic discussion here, last part here. What kinds of jobs are poorly paid in your country? What kinds of jobs are poorly paid in your What's country? What's poorly paid? Poorly paid means kind of like low income. Uh, it's like oh. minimum wage, like that kind of thing. In Thailand, I think it's 325 baht per day. Uh-huh. Uh, mm -hmm. 300 baht per day. Oh, it's 300, okay. And they're asking what kind? think uh the garbage who keep garbage <laughs> okay garbage man trash guy okay good uh -huh. okay right, one example try to give me two more uh 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 uh, uh the man who build the house or build building Okay, laborers. Good. Okay. Uh, labor. good. Laborers good. Okay. Uh, now, next one here. Do people who have different levels of income feel happy about how much they earn? Do people who have different levels of income feel happy no. about how much they earn? No, I'm happy. No, they feel differently. Mm. Do you think poor people are sad? Or rich people are happy? <laughs> rich, rich people are happy. Rich people are happy. Uh, I got to disagree with that, but um, we'll talk about that more later. Okay, all right, next one here. Do you think it is good to change jobs frequently? All right, frequently means many times. Uh, I think if you change job for better than the last job is okay but i uh in my opinion i don't want to change job frequently yes Please. okay all right good answer not bad not bad okay all right sounds good okay all right so that's going to be the first recording there moving on into that okay and so writing here let's do writing another day all right okay we i don't want to take up a bunch of our time so we have here we Recording. Let me just track this and log this here. All right. So this will here. Uh, okay. All right. Writing prompt. Um, how is your work life these days? Are you busy? Do you have a lot of some extra time? Oh, slowly, please. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Do you have Do you have time? Me, me, uh, Are you busy these days? Go. Uh. A little. A little bit busy. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. But you can, you can give me a homework. Okay, it sounds good. Uh, this one here, I will give you, you can do 100 words or less. Uh, that's okay, right? That's not too bad. So for me, here's my logic, right? Logic here, logic is if it cannot be measured, it cannot be improved. And there's this guy, his name is Lord Kelvin. And he was a very, very famous old guy. And mm -hmm. he said, if it cannot be measured, it cannot be improved. Right? And so right now we're trying to measure. Right now, we're trying to measure our English ability. All right, so we have here speaking here. Uh, for your speaking, based on the information, I would say maybe a three or four out of nine on the IELTS. Okay, we're writing here. All right, we have, uh, let's see, let's see the uh, homework. Okay. And we're listening here. Let's be sabai sabai a little. Right, so <laughs> um, next week, next week, try an IELTS listening test. Okay, I'll give you the link okay. for that. Okay, I don't want to give you too much pressure. You know, I know you work hard, and so 
we don't we can do this little by little okay <laughs> okay <laughs> sounds good i know that you're a hard-working lady uh that's I, I think that's what i understand from you you are a mm -hmm. hard worker is that true yes true <laughs> yeah <laughs> because i think so. I'm only it officer in my company only I one see. only one it officer in your company okay later <laughs> Uh, later, I will read the notes from Kyle's class. Right, Kyle's class to understand understand your role more. For now, let's focus on English. All right. So my plan here, I think, is going to be four categories, and then we have vocabulary and grammar. So I think over the next two weeks or so, we have classes with Val, we have classes with me, and I'm going to assess your speaking, your writing, your listening, your reading, and your vocabulary and grammar in class, okay? Okay. And then after this, I'll give you an estimation, estimation, estimation of what you would score on the 6,900 THP IELTS test, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, I will give you that estimation there in a couple of weeks, okay? And I'll ask Val's opinion. I'll ask Val's opinion, opinion for QC. Kyle's two. Okay, clear? Okay. All right, sounds good. Okay, moving on here. Now, the next one here is the global scale of English, All right? So this is kind of like a quick standard. We'll spend maybe five to 10 minutes on it each class. Okay. We, mm -hmm. I'll demonstrate now. Demonstrate. What's uh, demonstrate? Demonstrate means show. Show. Okay. I will show you how I do it. Right. I think we have one for you. Y A I I. Y A I I. Oh, four. No, okay, I have to make a new one, no problem. Okay. Okay, so a long time ago, the teachers in the world they made a system. Mm -hmm. And the system is with the IELTS test and something called the GSE. Okay? Okay. So if you get a perfect score on IELTS, you are here. <laughs> okay? All right. And then, aha, uh -huh. yes. And then we have A1. A, this is important right here. Right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. We made a list, and then this one will be for you. Okay. And we have four categories here, like this. Mm -hmm. And then this note that it starts at like four, and then it goes all the way to like 500. <laughs> Wake up. All right. Uh -huh. Need going, need going. All right. Need going, need going. All right. We'll do it little by little for fun. Right? In the beginning, we will go fast. And later, we will go slow. Because okay. it will be harder. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it starts simple. You have English and Thai here like this. All right? Okay. okay. All right, nice and easy. So you want to know someone's name? What do you say? What is your name? Panga Pass. Okay, all right. So now okay. you have to put this in your document here. So when you want to see again, you can click mm -hmm. on the link here, okay? And then okay. I'll make sure you have this in your line chat group too. Oh, I'm connecting again. One second. Okay, and you have that. You can be online with me too. Okay, what is your name? My name's Nisana. My nickname is Bua. Okay, very nice. 
I think you know ABC already, so I will pass. Yes. <laughs> okay. You want to buy something, what do you say? Uh, when I want to buy something. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> uh, how many price? How many cost? How much? Okay. This one here is can name a few very common everyday uh, items. Table, share, laptop. Pass. What is your language, country, and nationality? What is your country, nationality, and language? Thailand. Thai. Thai. Yeah, pass. Okay, tell me two ways to say hello. Uh, tell me two ways to say hello. Good morning. Hi, hello. Pass. Okay, all right. You want to know what someone's nationality is? What is the English question? You want to know what someone's nationality is? Your nationality. Is? Pass. Okay, good. I think you can do phone numbers, no problem. Okay, a name and address for good. What is my nationality? What is my nationality? Let's say all the people. Uh, Japanese, Chinese. One more, uh, one more. Uh, uh, okay, uh, what is my nationality? Um, I don't show sure you. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. I'm, I'm American, right? My national oh, American. American. I have a U.S. passport. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> my ethnicity, right? My DNA is Korean. Well, it's North Korean and South Korean, but it's Korean, okay? All right, for you, pass. Okay, can give very limited personal information using basic fixed expressions, all right? I will give you a pass on this one already, right? Mm -hmm. This one here. See, I think you did this before with me and Kyle and, and Val probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Pass. All right. Okay. Now this one here, you know what's this and what's that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy. Okay. Please give me three types of jobs. Come on. Sawyer. Uh, teacher. Three. Student. <laughs> um, nurse. Doctor. Soldier. Nurse. Doctor. Okay. Pass. Okay. What time is it right now? The time in four hour. Hmm? Pardon? Till the time of day in four hour. Yep, what time is it right now? Uh -huh. I, I don't sure the full hour. Uh, don't worry, just tell me what time it is. Keep it simple. Uh, I mean, nine o'clock. No? <laughs> nine o'clock? Okay, it's, uh, it's 4.35, right? 4.35. My pan! Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> this one later okay i think that one's good. this one is important okay all right okay all right okay uh let me see here have you ordered food and drink in english before uh for food i think uh beverage you did before right uh -huh. okay good okay all right good okay what are three types of transportation three types of transportation mm, taxi uh train European. Okay, boom, done. Okay, you want to know my phone number. What do you ask? Uh, what you is your phone number? phone number? What do you ask? What is your internal phone number? Perfect. Okay, all right, next. You want to know my age. What do you say? Uh, how old are you? you know? Perfect, pass. You want to know my job. What do you say? What is your job? Perfect. Okay, tell me two ways to say goodbye. Tell me two ways to say goodbye. See you later. Okay. Uh -huh. One more, one more. Um. <laughs> um, bye bye. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> one more. Bye bye, okay, good, okay, all right. What is, what is today's date? What is today's date? Uh. Uh, Sunday, Monday. Um, no, no, no. Oh, sorry. What is today's date? What is today's date? Today's date. 
Today is um, first September, right? Today is. Oh, uh, today April is. Two thousand twenty Sunday. Uh huh. Okay, no problem. We'll talk about that one later. Okay, next one here. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? What is your job? How do you make a living? Uh, IT strategy officer. Oh, good answer. Okay, all right. Can't ask about the price of something. We did this one before. It's how. About price. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much is it? No problem. No problem. Can ask about the price. How much is it or what is the price? Yes, that's good. Okay, here can say a range of basic numbers, quantities, and prices. All right, for this one, we're gonna do a little game, Kev. All right, let's do it. All right, for this part here, I like practicing numbers here. So we will double numbers as far as we can go. Okay, I start with two, and then you say four, and then I say eight, and then you uh -huh. say sixteen, and uh -huh. then I say thirty-two. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. I start. One. Two. Four. Eight. Sixteen. Thirty-two. Oh. <laughs> You lost connection. Hello, Paul. Hello. I, I said 64. Okay. And you, then you 64? Uh -huh. uh huh. And then you're next. Okay. 128. Good. 256. 256. Uh, 500. 500. Um, and And to where? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, one thousand twenty-four. Uh, two thousand. You one thousand twenty-four. Um, two thousand forty-eight. Yes, four thousand ninety-six. <laughs> um, eight thousand one and one hundred. United States, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 192, right? Yes, okay, all right, pass. You did very impressive on that one. Okay, good, okay, going back to this one. You earned that one, right? You earned that one for sure. I'll give you this one for that one, okay? All right, okay, you want to know someone's birthday. What do you say? Uh, what is your birthday? Perfect, okay. Where is your mom? Uh, a pardon. Where is your mom? Uh, outside of my room. <laughs> okay. Where is your dad? Uh, my my dad's dad passed away. Uh -huh. Okay. Where is your sister? Do you have a sister? Uh, I I have one brother, one older one brother. brother. Okay. Where is your older brother? Um, outside my room, I think oh, he's right. here with my cat. Okay, in the house. Okay, <laughs> fair. Pass. Okay, when you don't understand, right? When you don't understand, what can you say? Uh, pardon, pardon me. I don't understand. Perfect. Okay, nice. Can ask and answer simple things about things they have in a limited way. So, can you please just tell me about your house a little bit? Mm, Tell me about your house. So my house in Soilam in Tahoe to Sam Lost. Okay. In Bangkok. Uh huh. Okay. And, uh, I have three people in my house and one cat and one Perfect. cat. Perfect. That's a, that is a pass for me. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. That is usually about. 100 hours of class, okay? So if you see this number here, this is not about hours, but for this first part here is about 100 hours of class. And next class, we'll continue with this.
but okay. I'll do it little by little, okay? Later, it gets harder and we have to take more time, right? Like, can make simple direct comparisons between two people or things using common adjectives. And then this is in present time. Mm -hmm. Right, and so that's gonna take a little bit more time and we'll do that later, okay? Okay. Uh, cool, clear. Okay, next, all right. So that was gonna be what I call GSE checklist, blitz round. Mm -hmm. Blitz round means very fast, okay? Okay. <laughs> right, sounds good. <laughs> good. All right. You like it. You understand. All right. Very nice. Okay. The next one here is going to be a little bit of learning strategies. All right. We have here learning strategies and styles. Okay. Uh, and this is a little bit of the discussion style. All right. Discussion here for me is that I have a question. What is the best way, best way for you to Mm. Oh, my baby's crying. Give more information. In my opinion, I think uh, keep in my. <laughs> keep it in my mind. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Uh, in but but in the real in the real I, I keep it in my iPhone. <laughs> Okay, info in iPhone. Okay, all right, that's more practical. Okay, good. Uh, I have a question. In university, how did you study for tests? Examination. Examination. Oh. Note? Notes. Okay, notes. Okay, all right. So it helps you, it helps you if you record the information. Okay, that makes sense. All right, okay, so that's right in here. Uh, do you use a paper notebook? Uh, you mean uh, I had? Uh, iPad will work, right? iPad notes, right? iPad notes. Uh huh. Good notes. Yes. Good note. Hey. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. Um. That's good. That's good. Okay. So the last class you had was with Val. That means that you guys use notes and iPad together, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. That's great. Uh. Put down cap. That's good. That's good. That's great. That's good. That's okay. That's okay. All right, nice. This is a uh, degree one, degree two, degree three. Okay. 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 All right. So this one here, that's great for me. All right. That means that you are getting training with Val's notes. So that's very, very good for me. Okay, because Val is good with good notes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay. Next year, I believe that learning is one instruction and two practice okay okay that was, that was my opinion really actually from lots of different things um i got the feedback from kyle's classes and i think it was a few different problems let's see let's talk about that i think it's probably too much discussion, not enough instruction. True? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, all right. Is my class different? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, all right. That's great, right? So practice yes. again. That's great. That's great. Easy, right? Nice. That's great. Okay, all right. So now here, I just have these questions, learn or practice, right? Learn or practice. And I believe both of these happen, right? Now, this is something we call a samurai metaphor. And I'm going to teach you what a metaphor is. Today. Okay. So uh -huh. same with the metaphor. 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 Okay. okay. I will translate metaphor for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, metaphor here. Okay. Like an uh, idiom. No. 
It's similar, yeah. Some idioms have connections to metaphor, yes, right? But the way I describe it is going to be like this. Uh -huh. Using two ideas, no, using one concept, one concept to explain uh -huh. another, another concept. Okay, so uh -huh. that's where it's useful, right? And then for useful, it's me pay on, right? Me pay on. Uh, sorry, my spelling is bad, right? So here, useful, right? So let's say useful. Useful. Okay. Now a metaphor is. Stay with me. A metaphor is. A metaphor, metaphor is. Using one concept. Using one concept. To explain another concept. To explain another concept. Okay, cool. So for me, what I imagine in a lot of ways is that I see myself as a samurai warrior, and I'm the English teacher. Okay. And you, mm -hmm. you are the student. You are the student who is learning how to use the samurai. Okay? So okay. Imagine this is me and this is you. Okay? <laughs> okay. Right? This is me and this is you here. All right? And so this is the metaphor. Say with me, metaphor. Metaphor. All right. And the metaphor for me is that I have a number two guy, right? And my number two guy is Val over here. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. And so this number two guy, Val, he trains you every day, right? So he mm -hmm. teaches you like how to use your sword and how to jump and how to walk and how to fight, right? Yes. And then once a week, you come and you fight me. Samurai. Once a week, uh -huh. once a week you come and you fight me. One a week. Once a week, you come and you, you fight, fight me. Fight me. Mm -hmm. And using your sword is like speaking English, right? Using your sword is yes. like speaking English. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I'll write that down here. Using your sword. Using your sword. The what? The what? Using. Using your sword. Right. And then this one. Like... Okay. <laughs> You understand? Very nice. Okay. And then this one here, uh -huh. I will say for you three times. Yeah? All right. Sword. 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 Now you try. Sword. Sword. Perfect. Sword. Yep. Perfect. Yes. Here's a key takeaway point, right? Don't try to say something you don't know. Tell me to say it. Your brain needs to recognize a sound before saying it properly, properly, uh, your brain processes the information from the ear, from the ear, then it uses that information to help you make the sounds with the process. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so that makes sense, yes? Okay. Okay, don't try to say something you don't know. Tell me to say it. Your brain needs to recognize a sound before saying it properly. Your brain processes the information from your ear. Then it uses that information to help you make the sounds with your mouth muscle. Okay? Okay. All right, clear. Okay, sounds good. So now, do you understand the samurai metaphor? Yes. Cool. All right. That's awesome. I'm happy. I'm you happy. want to tell me, try to practice and in the next day, I will uh, speak English like Samurai. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, you got it. And then I say again, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right? That's great. And then it's nice and good. Here. Okay. All right. So let's see, we gotta develop your routine. Um, I gotta get an idea of what your schedule is like. Okay, I, you are my wife's friend, and so I'm like trying to be very, very reproy with your class, okay? Um, I have a few questions, okay? So first of all here, how intensely do you want to study? What's intense now? Intensely. Mean. Yeah, uh, so yeah, like one to ten. Uh, so here, 
Let's go with intensity. Intensity. Yeah, and so that's like how hardcore, right? <laughs> right? How hardcore? You know hardcore, right? Uh, and so it's basically yes, how hardcore on a scale of one to ten. Oh, hardcore. Uh huh. My guess, my guess is like five to seven. Um. <laughs> I. Um. I think about seven, eight. Seven to eight. Okay. All right. uh -huh. eight. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess seven. Okay, seven right. or eight. Uh -huh. That sounds good. Seven, seven to eighty percent effort. Okay. I'm good with that. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Sense. All right. Let's figure out a little bit of your schedule. We have Monday, Tuesday. You have one class on Saturday, and you have one class on Sunday right now, right? Okay? Uh -huh. This class with Paul, Paul, that's class. And Saturday class with Paul. Okay, all right, cool. Monday through Friday, when do you usually start work? When do you usually start work? Mm. I can use the time before I go to bed. I think every day. <laughs> okay, all right. So Maybe. Maybe things are okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I have a, another one where when are you most productive? When are you most productive in the day? Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, okay. <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is his most productive. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, time of daytime, like morning or evening. Are you a morning person or evening person? Evening. You're an evening person. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Tuesday here. Best night. Um, when you when you relax, how do you relax? Do you, do you eat and watch movies or do you hang out with your family? Um, pardon me? Uh, how do you relax? Um, sleep or watch Netflix. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, uh -huh. all right, so that's your rest night. Okay, sounds good. And now in the uh, COVID situation, <laughs> my yeah. family oh. like to cook. Don't like to cook. <laughs> yes. Okay, like? Yeah. Oh, love to cook. Okay, all right. I love yeah. to cook, yeah. I love to cook too. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's relaxing. Yeah, it's super relaxing. That's good. Um, sleep early, cook. With them. Okay, good. That makes sense. Um, I think that's something you can do all the time. Okay, watch movies. All right, Monday late night. Okay, all right. Uh, I give you a challenge. Okay, I give you a challenge here. Um, try cooking something with an English <laughs> video. Uh, five minutes or less. Five minutes or less. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this right here means that you are making something normal, right? A Han Tamada at your house, but mm -hmm. try to find the English YouTube video with someone talking about it. Mm -hmm. Watch it while you cook. Okay? Okay. Uh, you mean the I open, open YouTube for the English YouTube and try to follow? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Part one by Origin One. 
31, uh, follow the video. The video. Okay. Priority two. Priority two. If not cooking the recipe, just listen, listen, and cook something else. All right. So this one here is a little bit of hard work, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have to buy things, right? And like follow exactly. So you can also do this one too. This is like option B, right? Option B. Okay. All right, let me just put this here. I think this is better as option B. Right. Option A is okay, right? But sometimes option A is hard because you have to follow, right? Mm-hmm. Makes sense, right? This one, follow the video is hard sometimes because you have to make the uh, recipe. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right. So you can just listen and cook something else. Something else means different, right? And I send you to the my food, my finished cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take, take a picture. Take a picture, right? Okay. Write a short description. Okay. Description. description. Send it to the one you Send it. Perfect. I like this idea. This one is good. Okay. Uh, Tuesday is rest night, right? You go sabai sabai and just chill, chill. All right. Let's see here. Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be Harvard Institute of the Day. Okay, so this one is homework cup, right? So I'll put it on your Google Doc here. This one is a newsletter, right? Mm -hmm. Subscribe if you go to the link and then click on this one. It's called mm -hmm. Management Day, right? And I get this one, I think one Monday to Friday. So you get five every week, right? Okay. So this one for me today is this here so it's one paragraph right? usually one paragraph not too long mm -hmm. and today is about stay positive and help yourself and others through this stressful time right and then i okay. read it and it's quick and easy right okay okay so wednesday night is going to be reading night right mm -hmm. reading night. and you can read more if you want later okay this is minimum okay Minimum, uh -huh. one paragraph per week. Okay, cool. All right, Thursday is going to be chill, chill, right? Thursday is chill, chill. And then Friday, I think Friday should be chill, chill too. What do you think? Uh, I think Friday should be chill, chill too. Okay. Okay, and then Val will give you homework, right? Val will give you homework, so you can do mm -hmm. that if you want, right? And then, okay. yeah, and then I'm building your routine. I'm building your routine. So a bit different. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. Uh, um, okay, this is good. So, but when the we were able to practice numbers today here with some of our key phrases here, All right? So try saying this for me again. As personally, one point eight million kids. Very nice. Okay, good. Now I want you to say this one here for me. Uh, if it cannot be measured, it cannot be improved. Okay, all right. Then we have here, right now we're trying to measure your English abilities, right? And then we have four categories and we will follow up later, okay? Okay. Cool, all right. Now we have here, when you have time, we're gonna get into your writing prompt here. Buying things on the internet, such as books, air tickets, and groceries is becoming more and more popular. Do the advantages of shopping in this way outweigh the disadvantages? And that's 100 words. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then. You are lost. You lost internet connection. How? Yes? 
Okay. The best? Uh, no, no, no. You, you lost internet connection. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, we have to check. We have to check the internet. My internet is okay. Um, let me see. Let me try again here. So we have here. We practice numbers. We have oh. Lord Heaven. We have mm -hmm. your measuring measuring English. And then we have this one is homework up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we did the GSC Blitz check round. Uh huh. And then. We had a discussion about learning strategies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, check, check. Then we will we built your new routine for English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Objective seven. I will call this preliminary preliminary routine. Preliminary. Preliminary routine means our first version, right? Prototype. Our prototype mm -hmm. routine. Right? Uh -huh. oh, you got it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And then we will adapt. We will adapt as we go. I kind of want you to start reading and doing some books with Val, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. Now, next. Good job today. It's a lot easy. I, I think uh, it's, it was not easy. Good job. <laughs> right? Some ladies, I, I made some who didn't cry before. <laughs> okay. All right, number three here. Okay, let me see. Here. Congratulations, congratulations. You passed day one. All right. Okay. Hey, is that skill with the IELTS scale right here? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All right, cool. Sounds good. We have HBR there, management tip. That's good. You got your GSE checklist. Uh, this link is inside of your Google Doc. Okay, perfect. Okay, sounds good. All right. So I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Oh, my hair is here. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go eat something delicious now with my family. All right. You too. <laughs> yes. All right. Sounds good. All right. Later, I will try to make sure you speak more in the class for sure. All right. Uh -huh. Because this is the first class with me, I have to explain some things. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I hope you have Thank a good Thank you for today. You're welcome. Thank you for your time, Cap. I appreciate it. Corona. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. Okay, bye.